what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Can't Stop, Won't Stop, The Bad Boy Story. It has a June 25th release date, and it's a one hour, 20 minute documentary styled film centered around Sean Puffy Combs building and maintaining his bad boy empire as he pursues what he likes to call black excellence. Most of the film covers Puffy and various bad boy artists preparing and rehearsing for two nights at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York as part of their bad boy reunion tour. The film starts off with Puffy defining exactly who he is. I thought that was a good setup. He went on to talk about how in the beginning of his career, he had problems with conflict resolution. <laughs> I'm laughing because I get it. I understand. When I was starting my career off, I had a hard time dealing with people who I had a problem with without exploding. And as you can see, when you look at Puff right now, you can see he figured it out because you don't get to be in the game that long and that strong by being difficult. So that was a good look. Saw a lot of different faces in the film that was that surprised me. I saw Jay-Z. I saw Rick Ross in there. DMX didn't really surprise me too much because I knew that DMX had been touring with them. But, and that was some other people and I'm not gonna give it away. But one of the most poignant parts of the film is when I saw, when I heard Mace talking and he sounded eerily like somebody I'm very familiar with. And I turned to my daughter and said, he sounds like that and she was like, oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. And she turned to my son and told him, he said, I just said that to my friend. So. Yeah, so I'm sure y'all gonna pick this up. <laughs> Crazy, out of all the times I've heard May speak, I never put that together. But yeah, crazy. But this film really gives you a real good idea of the preparation that it takes to put on a great show. And it gives you some insight on what it must be like to walk in Puffy's shoes and to basically be that ringmaster, to, to be able to juggle all these different businesses and to be able to adjust to personalities, these various personalities, and at the same time, uh, take care of your personal business. You know, that's a lot, that's a lot. So to see him to be able to, to be able to do that, I think that people that are aspiring to be in the entertainment business, or even if you're just you know, aspiring to be whatever you're trying to do, hey man, uh, I think you'll be able to learn something from, from watching the film. The film relies heavily on archival footage from interviews and concerts. And that's a good thing, because we like to see stuff like that. The film is directed by Daniel Kaufman and it's a bit more intimate and revealing than most films in this category. If you're looking for a film that tells a great story, has good cinematography, and embraces the rap culture, like say films like Hustle and Flow, Eight Mile, or Straight Outta Compton, this is not the film for you. But if you're looking for something that will inspire you, that will give you some insight on what it takes to build an empire, how to get your mind right, grow spiritually, even when you're being accosted by negative energy, this is your film. This is your film. And this documentary, at the end of the day, it's really Puffy cementing his legacy. It's him 
cementing himself as one of those on the Mount Rushmore of hip hop. That's him. It's him taking his place as one of the greats. I can see Puffy right now at his crib drinking some Ciroc, standing out on the balcony all by himself, looking out into the universe at his detractors. Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> at the end of the day, I would give this film a three and a half out of five stars. And much of that has to do with just the pure motivation of this film. This film could actually be used as a motivational tool. You could just send this off to businesses. It don't even have to have anything to do with the hip hop industry. You can just send it off to any business. It's very, very difficult to walk away from this film without being inspired. That is very, very difficult to do. So, overall, I would say it's a good watch. But don't take my word for it. Check it out yourself. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.